today to uh, appeal for witnesses in the case of Nicola Bully. In January of last year, the eyes of the world turned to small Lancashire village, St Michael's on Wire, as they were gripped by the disappearance of Nicola Bully. On the 27th, the 45-year-old dropped her children off at their school and set off to walk her dog Willow along the banks of the River Wire. When she didn't return home, her partner Paul alerted the police. This launched a search operation that would last 23 days and capture global attention. In the last seven days since Nicola went missing, a week ago today, the police have done a number of enquiries to try and find Nicola and to bring her home to her family. After just over a week of searching, Lancashire Police allowed underwater sonar specialist Peter Folding and his team to join their efforts. Within minutes of arriving at the scene, Peter had told the media he was confident in his ability to find Nicola. If Nicola is here, I'm happy that we will find her if she is in the river. It's normally we can cover about 10 miles of river a day with a sonar, but this is it's quite a windy river. Um, but it's not that wide, it's not that fast moving, so it should be quite straightforward. But the search was anything but straightforward. After Peter and his team failed to find anything and withdrew from the operation, the police eventually decided to widen their search area, extending it all the way to where the river wire meets the sea. Almost three weeks after she first went missing, Lancashire Police revealed that Nicola had previously struggled with significant issues with alcohol and was considered to be high risk. One year ago today, the search for the missing mother of two had gone on for over three weeks. Then, around a mile down river from this spot where she was last seen, there was a break in the case. We are now, now able to confirm that yesterday we recovered Nicola Bully from the River Wire. Nicola's family have been informed and are, of course, devastated. Four months later, a coroner's inquest would find Nicola's death to be an accident, stating that she had drowned almost immediately after falling into the river. One year on, and although the signs and tributes to Nicola have gradually faded away, her memory lives on. Sophie Reaper, GB News.